Here, I will walk you through step-by-step -step on how to make changes to your dubbing file. Addressing sync issues. Upon generation, if any segments are out of sync, they'll be flagged with a red indicator over here. To resolve these sync issues, you can adjust the speed of the page using the speed button. Alternatively, utilize the AI resync option, which will automatically paraphrase and adjust the translation length. This is crucial for maintaining accurate sync throughout the video. Ensure that all such flagged segments are corrected, as even one unresolved sync issue can lead to problems later in the video. Transcription editing. The transcription appears on the right side of the file and can be manually corrected and adjusted. After making transcription edits, click on Retranslate to synchronize the adjusted transcripts with the audio. This step is recommended to avoid potential sync issues caused by longer translations. Handling long files. For files exceeding 15 minutes in length, it's advisable to use Save Changes option periodically after every six to seven changes are made. Once all edits are complete, Click on Save and Generate, and this will generate all changes together. This helps manage long files more efficiently. Segment Editing It's important to note that entire segments cannot be deleted or merged. Changes can only be made within existing segments. Adjusting the Volume Volume adjustments can be made using the Volume option. This allows you to raise voice or lower the audio as needed. Changing speakers. To add a new speaker or change the speaker's voice, click on the speaker icon. Choose the desired speaker voice from the available options. You have the flexibility to apply the new speaker to either specific segments or the entire video. If you want to add the speaker to the entire video, click on Apply for All to ensure that the speaker selection applies to the entire video. Adding pauses. To insert pauses between phrases or sentences, either use ellipses or commas. This helps to create natural breaks in the voiceover. Emphasizing the text. If you want to emphasize certain words or phrases, make them uppercase. This will indicate the voiceover artist that those parts should be delivered with more emphasis. Following these steps will help you effectively edit your dubbing file. Ensuring accurate sync, transcription, volume levels, and speaker choices throughout the video. Make sure to save the changes. And if you are done updating the file, click on Save and Generate. This will update the file with the new changes. Thank you.